Evening. Donnie Walker here. Well, today was a first for me. First time I've ever actually uh, drilled out a cylinder to install a decompression button. This one was in a 288 and they're uh, probably the easiest ones to do. Or kind of the, the best to do in a way. How Husqvarna has their decompressions on the side of the cylinder, like so, on 372s and a lot of different models, 394s, older 288s that had them in it, is a is a very good way, instead of having in the, them in the combustion chamber, where you have that 10 millimeter size of thread there, right, in the combustion chamber. Just a, hang on a sec, I gotta let, let Fozzie up the hill here. Darn dog, wrecking my video. Nah, he's my best friend. So, when they're in the combustion chamber, I've never liked them. When still put them in years ago, and now some huskies have them. I don't like them. I blocked them off and put plugs in the covers. Uh, they rob horsepower. I remember Ron Hartel um, used to work for Poulan and Husqvarna, World Championship Logger Sports fellow. Many times over, he told me it robs horsepower, Donnie, and it can create problems, which they have. I've had still ones fall into the cylinder. I've had husky ones rattle loose a little bit, you know, have problems. So today, I did my first old school 288 ones. For a friend of mine, Tom Walker, yes, Tom Walker, not related to me, but he's the chicken plucker. Hey, Tom, a.k.a. Chicken Plucker. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing a couple 288s for him right now and a 3120 and have done lots of other saws for him. So he got these 288s um, somehow off the Internet from uh, Squamish, B.C., which is close to Whistler, B.C., great best skiing in the world almost these things are like brand new so whoever had them uh, i believe they might have been uh government saws or forestry saws because they had rivet holes where they would put like the identification plates on but they were not used in logging for sure because they'd be beat up to heck right so he sent me two of them i stripped one down to look at it thing was in perfect shape but he wanted decomps added to them um, and luckily enough, he's got the type of cylinder of a 288 that has like kind of the round spot there where a decompression would be, button would be on the newer models of 288s. But the older ones didn't have them. Gotta remember the series of 288s 181, 281, 288. Great saws. So. I decided today I'm going to try putting a de decompression valve in it. I first practiced on a, a, a crappy one at my old shop where I do my porting to make sure I didn't wreck his cylinder. Okay. I watched my dad do it for years on different ones. He used to do them some, some, some heads for guys with Harley Davidson's big old bore, uh, big bore uh, and big CC dirt bikes. My dad would do them for fellas. eh? he'd drill them and put them in eh? The 10 millimeter decompression valve. So what you need to do this is first, if you got this type of cylinder on 288 that has that spot where it would be, but it's 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 not. It's a blank, right? What I did was center center punched it first with a center punch, and I drilled a one eighth inch hole. I went about brand new one eighth inch drill bits so i knew they were good i first drilled the hole in the center right through the nickel when i hit the nickel i know i did because it was harder to heck to get through that's why i bought good new drill bits got through it then i measured the depth of that that hole i drilled i took i took the drill bit I don't know if you can see the little mark on it, but that, that was the depth. I, I put my little grinder on there and made a little... That was the depth of the hole I drilled, okay? So then... I took my drill bit, 
which for the type of top I needed for the for the for the 10.1.0 thread pitch size, the drill bit size is 23.64. So what I did on the drill bit is I put a piece of tape on it, the depth I wanted to go. I measured the depth of the decompression valve and the depth that I used to drill it with that 1H drill. Then I just added a little bit more to my drill depth so I obviously wouldn't get drilled through the cylinder. That would be really bad. Hey, Tom, I didn't want to wreck it. So I put a piece of tape on my big drill bit, the depth I wanted, and I drilled it to that size, to that depth of that, that tape that I marked it on. Then I took my 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter by 1.0 tap, tapped it out, cleaned it out, and my God, it looked exactly like Husqvarna does on their other cylinders. Then I tried my de de decompression valve in there, and it fit perfect and tightened up just right. Successful. First one I ever did. I can't believe I've never done it before. But my dad, dad used to do them, and... Now, you know, I can do them in anything now, really. But on the side is the best way to go. Uh, lucky enough, these, these two, both his cylinders on the two saws I'm doing for him has that, like, boss area where you would drill and tap it to do that. Okay? They obviously do the same thing at the factory on the other Husqvarna saws because they don't cast them like that. Or maybe maybe they do. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they cast them, then they do something with them. But that's how you put a decompression valve in a 288 if you have the right cylinder. If you don't have the right cylinder, my dad years ago on some 288s that he used for obstacle pole racing saws, which uh, in logger sports is where you run up the end of the log, cut off the end, and go back down and touch the end, and that's, that's the race, right? He built wicked ones, man. So what he would do is right where the, the spark plug is, on the top, he'd put them like right there. And I have a 181 like, one like that. Um, because you wanted them to start quick and easy when you're up that pole. If they had too much compression, as you pulled it over, you'd probably fall off the log that you just climbed. So if you had a decompression valve, boom, it goes, right? So that's another way to do it. But I don't like them in the head, like I've told you before. It disrupts the combustion chamber and they end up leaking after a while. So there you go. That's how you put a decompression valve in a 288. Tom Walker, I'll get them done for you. They're old chicken plucker. And uh, they're going to be good. You're going to love them. The, these 288s will probably outlast any new saw that are around. Because these things are in great shape. You got a heck of a buy there, buddy. So keep your saw in the wood, stick it in the ice, rubbing the road. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Have a great night. See you guys later.